Black holes, among the most mysterious objects in the universe, possess gravitational forces so strong that nothing can escape them, not even light. When a planet strays into their range, it is instantly captured by their immense gravitational field. According to Newton's law of universal gravitation, gravitational pull depends not only on mass, but also on distance. Therefore, the side of the planet facing the black hole experiences much stronger pull than the far side, creating a difference known as tidal forces. These extreme tidal forces can rip celestial bodies apart, stretching them into long, thin streams of material like noodles, a phenomenon commonly called the spaghettification effect. If you've ever seen the brilliant glowing rings around black holes, those are accretion disks, swirling matter falling toward the black hole. Before being completely devoured, cosmic debris orbits the black hole at incredible speeds, experiencing intense friction that produces burning, brilliant light. This is also one of the few ways we can indirectly observe black holes. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope released the first image of a black hole in human history, of a black hole at the center of the M87 galaxy. In that photo, we see only the glowing ring from the accretion disk. The black hole itself is entirely invisible. So what happens to matter that gets pulled into a black hole? Does it vanish forever? According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, Gravity is the warping of space-time caused by mass. A black hole is a region where space-time curvature becomes nearly infinite. Anything falling in is crushed into fine dust and drawn toward a central point called a singularity. But where does it go after that? At present, science cannot observe or determine exactly. Inside the black hole's boundary, called the event horizon, the escape velocity exceeds the speed of light, so all information is completely sealed off. Even light itself cannot escape. This is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in science. However, we do know that as a black hole devours more matter, its mass and size increase, like a monster that is never satisfied. But black holes are not eternal. Physicist Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes emit Hawking radiation and gradually evaporate. Although this happens incredibly slowly, a black hole with the mass of our sun would take about 10 to 67 years to evaporate completely. It demonstrates that everything in the universe, even black, 